Hey, this is uh, Jackson Doe with No Finance. I wanted to give you all a quick rundown on SmartBiz, how it works, the product types, also what might be a good fit for you. And just answer any questions that you had about SmartBiz. This is not a merchant state product. I do offer those as well. I always try to start off with uh, to be 70 line of credit, term loans. And I usually start with SmartBiz because I've been working with them for five years. And I think they're one of the best in the business, if not the best, as far as online loan providers go. What makes SmartBiz different than a lot of them, other loan providers out there? One, I love how you can figure out if you're going to qualify, pre-qualify for an SBA loan right away. They've been doing this since 2013. And they focus solely on, again, SBA loans, term loans, and lines of credit. They have partnerships with small community banks all over the country, whereas these merchant cash made shops, it's all private money, either with hedge funds or small lending operations, which is fine, but the interest rates are really high. And again, they're not trying to offer something that's going to take up your writing at least one to two weeks to look over. They do loans up to $500,000. There's no collateral needed. 60% of these loans funded by our base are actually women owned. So for the facts about that, for example, smart base, and they've helped over 230,000 small businesses with funding over $9 billion since they started. So I'll get into the product. So a lot of credit is the product that I initially pitched with most of my clients. I think it's a really good product as far as cash flows, because you can get anywhere from 50 to a hundred thousand dollars in interest only payment. So what they do to come up with the interest rate, it's silver plus. 9.99%. It is around five and a half percent right now, 5.3. So they share it out as 14 to 15%. So if you get a hundred thousand dollar a lot of credit, maybe it's going to be 1277 a month for 12 months. And then what they do at the end is they'll refinance that principal balance of a hundred thousand or 50,000, whatever the principal balance is. And you can refinance that into a term loan of two to five years. You can also look at a refinancing it also into an SBA loan. If you want to pay it off at the end or before then, you can do that as well. There's no prepayment penalties. Uh, what you need for this is just six months bank statements. You need a 6E credit score, three years time in business. And then they also look at your business credit score as well. That liquid credit score is a mix of your business and personal credit, and you need to be doing at least $250,000 in revenue. Some one thing to know, they do have a 6% origination fee. So it's 3,000. If you take out 50,000, it's 6,000. If you take out a hundred, so you're netting 94, 47,000 in that case. Okay. And if you all have any questions, again, you can just reply back in the email or let me know. So Saturday is anywhere from SBA Saturday. So that's anywhere from 50 to $500,000. One more thing on the line of credit, it takes three days to a week to get done. SBA 7A will take four to six weeks, but it's with SmartBase, it's the most that you can get. So it goes up to $500,000. There's a lot more requirements in this one as far as financials and as well as uh, eligibility. Minimum two years business, US based business, or a lawful permit. A resident must be 21 years or older, FICO credit score of 660 or higher. Okay. And then they're going to look at your cash flow. So as long as you're free in, well, that'd be $115 to 100 expenses is always your cash flowing at that rate. Well, for the 1.5x, then you're good to go. Minimal annual revenue requirements of $250,000. Same with the line of credit. No outstanding tax liens. You can have outstanding taxes that you're on a payment plan, but um, if you're not up to date on the payments as far as uh, the payment plan, then you not. You're not going to be able to qualify. No bankruptcies or foreclosures in the last three years. No recent charge-offs or settlements. And then you got to be current on all government-related loans. And if you took out the EIDL or have another uh, SBA uh, 7 a loan, then you got to make sure that you're up to date on those payments. Eligible uses, general working capital, purchasing inventory, hiring employees, marketing, refinancing. You can even refinance business debt. So I did this with a client last month. They do about $3 million a year. They got to climb from a bank that they currently, their current banker, who's a small and regional banker here in town. They got to climb from another big bank that does the, the most SBA 70 loads nationwide. And then we were able to place them though, with smart, through SmartVis, we found a small community bankers several states away 
that was willing to give them $100,000. So they refinanced one of their merchant cash and its positions and obviously really uh, benefited from the improved cash flow. Uh, so that was saving them. I think we ended up saving them at least nine to $10,000 a month for the next year. So that was huge for them. Ineligible uses, so startup financing, smart business doesn't do that. House flipping or real estate development, can't do that with an SBA loan. You can't refinance personal net. Uh, no construction or remodeling with the SBA loan. Business acquisition, you can't do that. You can't do that with a term loan. Four flips, financing, so car dealers, not going to work. And they delinquent tax pay. Okay. What industries are eligible? It's better to just go off for go off the ineligible businesses. Agriculture, lobbying, uh, lawns, mining, private clubs, cannabis, mortgage servicing, real estate development, gambling, like oil, wildcatting, any nonprofit, it's not going to work, residential buildings, light constraints, or pawn shops. Okay. So general eligibility, we already went over this. Any individual who owns 20% or more, like can't work for the SBA or have any felonies, you're also going to need personal guarantees for those 20% or more equity owners. Credit has to be at least a 660 or above. We went over this in the beginning. Cash flow, they're going to look at all your financials as far as the last at least two years business and personal tax returns. You're going to get profit and loss statement for the current year and then a balance sheet as well for the current year. And on top of that, the most recent six months of May statements and the business debt schedule uh, to make it easy so you don't have to vote on an Excel sheet. If you have any loans that you're paying on right now, through just for the business, they want to know about those as well. So they can properly underwrite. But declining revenue is a big one. Make sure that your tax returns are all done. All your financials are in order. If you have any criminal records, background, uh, it's going to be tough to, to get funding. If you're in bid litigation, that's going to close it off. And then undisclosed debt, UCC leads, if that pops up in the background, then it's a get and no go. But they do have another product for the 7A and say streamlined SBA loans. It goes up to $150,000. And then this interest rate is typically going to be higher. Whereas the SBA 7A is prime. So prime right now, prime rates 8.5% and they tack on 2.75%. So it's 11.25 right now. Again, it's variable. So it's going to go up and down with whatever the Fed sits prime at. And then from this streamlined $150,000 SBA loan, uh, they can tack on another six and a half percent. That would make it 15% at the most right now as far as the variable. And that's if you do the streamlined option. You need at least a 700 FICO score, two years time of business, no bankruptcy, you know, it's a tax leave, like $200,000 in annual business revenue. Okay. What they're going to look for is one year personal tax returns, two years of business tax returns, uh, just a driver's license, void check, and six months of recent, recent business bank savings. Okay. Bank term loan right now, it did go up to 300,000, but they go up to 200. So anywhere from 50 to 200. Repayments of two, three, five years. Interest rate starting at 6.99%. goes up to 26 to 27%. If you do that two year option, the interest rate's going to be closer to that 6.99. You go to the five year option, it's going to be higher up in the, in the 20 range. You need at least three years in business. FICO score of 680 or higher. Minimum annual revenue again, $250,000 above. And then again, no bankruptcies, no foreclosures in the last three years. Recent charge offs or settlements, same thing. Okay. You can use this money towards construction or remodeling. And then also business acquisition, partner buyout. So that's, that's a little bit different than the EA world there. But they're the same thing as far as exclusions. With certain industries, it's pretty much the same as the SBA. And that is pretty much it on the term loan. Okay. Again, monthly payments, two to five years. Um, and then this is more information. I'm not going to go over this again, but what is briefly brought over real quick. A lot of credit, 50 to $100,000. Three years signing business, 680 credit score. Remember that's the 12 month interest only payment. After the 12 months, it gets refinanced into a term loan of two to five years. Okay. Six months, bank statements, driver's license, wooden check, and a business debt schedule. Bank term loan gives a 200,000, two, three, and five years. All right. SBA loan up to 500,000 over a 10 year monthly payment. 
right? And that one takes four to six weeks. SBA is going to be a lower monthly payment because you're stretching it out over 10 years. A lot of times it's going to be a lower interest rate as well. Big difference is it takes four to six weeks to fund. I just did one to five weeks. Term loan, it's going to be one to two weeks of funding. So you can get it done a lot quicker. All right. And those are the big differences between SBA and um, term loan. It's got to be towards your uh, business operations, purchasing equipment, working capital, marketing. Can't be uh, used to uh, refining its personal debt. Can't be used uh, for real estate development or uh, flipping housing, that sort of thing. Okay. Who's eligible for a smart business low? We already went over this. At least two years having a business, good personal credit score, no bankruptcies, no, no foreclosures. Let's see what else. Have we not gone over? Uh, again, so uh, if you're taking out more money, 50 to 350,000, interest rates can be around 11.25% with the SBA loan. It's going to be 15% if you go under 50,000. Okay. Fees incurred. I didn't mention this earlier, but fees on the line of credit program. So we'll run back to that. It's a 6% origination fee. So if you take out $100,000 and $6,000 fee, if you take out $50,000, it's $3,000. Okay. Now the SBA, there's a bank fee, but it's nominal. It's a couple hundred bucks. The line of effect, my credit score now, it's a soft pull on your business and your personal credit. Collateral again. Oh, you have business assets you acquired. It's not providing collateral on the face value of the loan. So if you all have any other questions though, just let me know. I'm happy to answer them and I, I help me through the process and discuss with you guys what you're looking to do as far as your financing and how we can get it accomplished in the most timely, efficient manner as well. Thanks for your time. Yeah.